I wanted to show you one more piece of software. This is an alternative to CU's FET simulation. And we'll go through the same quiz example. I think we did this triangular one that goes up and back down. So the velocity curve goes up and down. Instead of using the FET simulation, I'm going to use Desmos. And if you're not familiar with Desmos yet, it is a very awesome website. It does graphing. It actually does a little calculus too. So you go to dsmos.com. If it comes up with the wrong website, just Google Math Graphing Desmos and you'll get the right Desmos. Okay, so here we go. The thing with Desmos, anything on the x-axis, you're going to call x. So even though for our scenario we're graphing versus time, all of our times are going to be in here for x. And everything in the quiz is going to be constant acceleration, which means that all of our equations are going to come off of that constant acceleration. So to use this graphing software, you will have to type in the equations, but I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so general form of constant acceleration is you have some starting position. I'll just say our starting position, maybe I'll call it, well, I'll just say zero. It doesn't really matter. So zero, and then we're going to have some kind of velocity times time. And remember, in our case, we don't, I can't use the symbol T for time because it only graphs on the x-axis what is labeled x. So imagine that all the x's are actually times here. So this would be for zero acceleration. And then if you have an acceleration, you add in this one half ax squared. So you notice in here that every time I type something like v or a that's not a number, it gives me the option to add that slider bar in. So this will be very convenient for graphing out. This is the position curve. I now want another line for our velocity. So I'll create another equation here. And this will be the initial velocity plus a. And again, it, the confusing part is x is time. So this, this actual equation is v plus a times t would give me, this is my velocity, and then acceleration is, is just constant. Okay, so if you get these three equations in here, acceleration, velocity, position, then you can go through and very easily change what your acceleration is, and what your starting velocity is, if you're starting with negative or positive velocity, and you can reproduce sections on that quiz. So here's one of the quiz problems. So let's say I want to reproduce this velocity line, and I'm not going to be able to do both parts of it, just this first section. So I want a velocity that's going from negative to positive with a positive slope or positive acceleration. So if I wanted to reproduce this line in Desmos, what I would do, I would give it a positive acceleration, okay, so that's the slope of the line, and then I would want to start with a negative velocity. So in this case, this purple line is my velocity, so you can see it goes from negative to positive, and it has just a straight slope, and the slope is described by acceleration, so I have just a, a solid line, positive acceleration, and this velocity acceleration would produce a position that is, it starts going down, and then here is the turnaround point, so see where that slope goes to zero is where velocity goes to zero, and as velocity turns around in the positive direction, here's where the position starts moving to the right. So it's not quite as nice as a FET simulation because you don't see the animation of the movie, moving person, but it's very nice that you can just set these numbers and watch how the graph changes. So let me pop back to that quiz. So that would be for this first section of velocity going up. For the second, if I want a line going down, all I'm going to have to do here is just change my acceleration from positive to negative. So if I grab my slider, sorry, 
and change the acceleration so that now it's negative. You can see here's my negative acceleration. Here's the new velocity curve and what position that would create.